Welcome to Dispute Fox. Discover Dispute Fox is one of the standout feature, the Auto Fox automation tool, which empowers you to automatically send updates to your clients. This tool automates repetitive tasks, saving valuable time and effort. AutoFox offers customizable templates for seamless automation with a single click. You can also craft your unique automation sequences using built-in conditions. Let's examine one of the automated sequence. Lead nurturing campaign, designed to send automated emails to a lead at specific intervals. When a lead is added through Dispute Fox, they will promptly receive the first email. Following this, subsequent emails are scheduled to be sent after one day, three days, seven days, three weeks, one month, and continue at intervals up to one year, unless the lead becomes a client. Let's build this workflow using the AutoFox Creation Workshop. Initiate the process by clicking on Add New AutoFox. When you arrive at the AutoFox Creation Workshop, the various fields might seem overwhelming. Let's take a step-by-step -step approach and explore each field individually to gain a clear understanding and build the lead nurturing campaign effectively. Select the client slash lead or affiliate AutoFox type. In our case, we'll select as client slash lead. Provide a name for the automation. Let's assign the title as lead nurturing campaign to this automation. You have two options for the start condition, manual for initiating the process manually and auto for activation based on specific conditions. For the lead nurturing campaign automation, we'll focus on the auto option. We'll use predefined conditions by configuring the start condition to be customer type with the condition value set to lead for our leads. You have the option to add and configure additional conditions by clicking on the plus sign. After configuring the conditions, determine if all or any conditions need to be satisfied by selecting the appropriate option using the Condition Met toggle button. Next, use the toggle button provided for the Existing Records field to choose between yes or no for applying the automated sequence to existing records. If you choose yes, make sure to select the checkbox to confirm setting up automated sequence for existing records too. Toggle the Recurring Rules field to select either Once or Repeat for the automated sequence execution. For example, select Once for the initial Welcome Client Campaign sequence or Repeat for ongoing billing tasks with clients. Use the toggle button to activate either Enable or Disable for the Suspension Criteria feature. This allows you to halt the automation based on defined end conditions. In our specific scenario, we will set the suspension criteria by choosing Customer Type and specifying that when it changes to Client, the lead nurturing campaign should come to a stop. Once the triggering conditions are configured, save the sequence and proceed to outline the actions the sequence should initiate when activated. Here, step refers to series of action, and each step can either be executed immediately or with a defined delay. Each step encompasses various actions to be performed when it is executed. Now, we will add a new step by simply selecting the option labeled New Step within the sequence interface. Provide a name for the step. Let's assign the name as Lead Nurturing Email and specify whether it should start instantly or after a delay, in minutes, hours, or days, when the conditions are met. For our situation, we'll select for an instant interval, indicating that this is the initial email the lead will receive upon registration. In this first step, you can outline actions such as sending emails, SMS, portal messages, creating tasks, client portal access, API actions, or update client fields. These actions will be executed when the specified conditions are triggered. We will create an email for the leads. You have the choice to modify the default email format provided by AutoFox or create a customized one. When opting for email, you'll have access to essential parameters for email creation, including predefined details like client or company information. Let's create one customized email. I've already composed a message. Feel free to change it as needed. All essential email formatting options, such as text bolding and paragraph alignment for a full page layout, are available on the top panel. 
Additionally, you can retrieve all the details like lead first name, last name then company name, company logo from the right side panel. Once you have finished formatting the email, simply click the Save button to include email action in the step we have created. Now, let's create a second step with a one-day delay for sending the email at specified intervals. Assign the name as Lead Nurturing Email after one day. Follow the same procedure as in the previous step for adding an email. Set up the email action within this step. Select the custom email template. I will maintain the message content for this email the same as provided in the previous step. Feel free to modify the mail as needed. Once you have finished formatting the email, simply click the Save button to include email action in the step we have created. Additionally, in this step, we'll introduce an SMS action. Provide the action name. Next, gather essential data from the drop-down list labeled Insert Data and Links. I've already composed a message. Feel free to change it as needed. After crafting the message, click the Save button to include SMS action in the step we have created. Moving on, we will establish a third step introducing a three-day delay to facilitate sending emails and SMS at specified intervals. Set delay to three days. Assign a descriptive action name to both the email and SMS actions. We will follow a similar process as in the prior step to integrate both email and SMS actions seamlessly. Proceed to create a fourth step with a one-week delay, so that both emails and SMS will be dispatched at this interval. Assign a descriptive action name to both the email and SMS actions. Follow a similar process as in the prior step to integrate both email and SMS actions seamlessly. Next, we will move on to set up a fifth step featuring a one-month delay, precisely 30 days, allowing for the dispatch of both emails and SMS at this specified monthly interval. In a similar fashion, I've created steps for intervals like three months, five months, and up to one year. During this year-long period, if a lead converts to a client, in accordance with our suspension condition, this autofox will stop sending email and SMS further. Feel free to outline numerous steps extending across any number of years you require. After setting up all the steps, click on Save and activate the sequence to execute it when the specified conditions are fulfilled. This sequence will automatically run and send an email to the leads when a new lead is created. It's easy to set up Autofox, right? Let's test our automated procedure by creating the new lead. Navigate to the Lead section and click on Add New Lead. Fill in the first and last name in the form, followed by the email address. Choose Lead as the customer type, as we set this condition to activate the automated sequence for customer type as lead. Click on Save Changes. After completing this, in the recently created lead section, go to AutoFox to verify if the automated sequence has been triggered and executed successfully. As observed, the workflow for the lead nurturing campaign was successfully triggered, and the email action was executed without any issues. You can review the actions outlined for the lead nurturing campaign, including pending and completed tasks. The initial email has been successfully dispatched, and subsequent emails and SMS messages are scheduled based on the specified delay for each step. Pretty neat, isn't it? To manually assign Autofox to a particular lead, select Assign Autofox Campaign. Once clicked, a pop-up will display with a drop-down list presenting all the accessible automated sequences. From there, you can choose one and click on Assign the Sequence. From the lead's perspective, let's confirm if they received the welcome email in their mailbox. As we can see, the lead has indeed received the email successfully with all the necessary fields. With Autofox, you can generate numerous custom workflows based on your needs. However, if you need assistance or have inquiries, don't hesitate to contact our support team. We're here to assist you in designing them.